Hello everybody, how are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Hello everybody, how are you today? I'm so happy to be with you. Hi dragonflies. I have a couple of activities for you today. Today I thought we would talk about colors. Since it's such a gloomy day outside, I thought this would be a good day to talk about colors. Um, and so I first have a story for you that I'm going to do on our board, and then we're going to do a little experiment. All right, here we go. This is called the color story. Red is the color for an apple that we eat. Mmm. Red is the color of cherries, too. cherries. Red is the color of strawberries. Don't you like red too? I do. Blue. Blue is the color of the sky outside. Blue is the color of some baby things, too. These are little baby socks or baby booties. And blue is the color of my sister's eyes. Some of you have blue eyes. Mm -hmm. I like blue. Don't you? Yellow. Yellow is the color of the great big sun. Yellow is the color of a glass of lemonade, too. Little glass of lemonade. Yellow is the color of a baby chick. I like the yellow. Do you, too? Hey, and did you see what I'm wearing today? Mm -hmm. I've got a yellow shirt on today. Yellow is my favorite color. What's yours? Green. Green is the color of the leaves on a tree. Green is the color of peas on a plate. Mm, I like peas. Green is also the color of the outside of a watermelon. I like green. Do you too? How about orange? Orange is the color of an orange. Orange is the color of carrots, too. And orange is the color of a jack-o'-lantern. I like orange. Do you, too? Okay, I've got one more color for you. <gasps> what color are the grapes? Purple. Purple are the color of these grapes. Purple is the color for grape juice, too. And purple is the color of this flower, which is a violet. I like purple. Do you? And there we have it. Red, blue, yellow, green, orange, and purple. Okay, now we're going to do a little experiment with colors. I'm going to move my camera over this way. And set you up right over here. So I've got a plate here, and I've got my mirror 
here so that you can see things a little bit better on the plate. I also have some milk and some dish soap. Oop, I'm running out of dish soap. And I have some food coloring. And I'm only going to use a few bits of food coloring because I ran out of the rest. I have three colors. I have blue. I don't know if you can see that very well. Blue. And I have yellow. This is actually yellow. And I have green. Okay. You know what else I have for the experiment is I have some Q-tips. See these? We're going to use those too. Okay. So here's how the experiment goes. First, I'm going to put a little milk on my plate. And this is something you can do at home too. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to try it with different kinds of milk. Almond milk or soy milk or whole milk it's called. Sometimes you call it the red milk and see what happens. Okay, so I've got my milk on a plate and then I'm going to put some of the colors of the food coloring right on the plate too. I'm going to try to get the colors kind of close together. So here goes one. One blue one. Let's put another dot of blue in there. Two dots of blue. And I've got yellow. I'm going to put that kind of close. You see the yellow? It's really tiny, isn't it? It looks kind of orange in there to me, but it's really yellow. And then I have blue. Let's put the blue over here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Q-tip. And I'm going to take the Q-tip and I'm just going to put it in the milk with the food coloring and see what happens. Watch carefully. Hmm. It moves around a little bit, but not much. Kind of stays in place. But look, my Q-tip got all full of the colors. All right, now I'm going to take another Q-tip. This one here, and I'm going to use my soap that I showed you. I'm going to put a little bit of the soap on my Q-tip. A little bit more. Okay, can you see that? A little bit of my soap. And now I'm going to dip that part of the Q-tip into the milk and the colors and see what happens. Ooh. Look at that. The colors start to mix together and you can actually make kind of a picture. Look at that. Ooh. You see how it's swirling around? And now some of the colors are mixing together to make a different color. Like I see some purplish color in there. Cool. <laughs> All right, friends, that's something you can try at home, too. The reason they didn't mix together when I had just the Q-tip was there's in that milk and in that, in the food coloring, are something called molecules. And molecules like to stick together. 
kind of like a glue. They all stick together. But then you add a little bit of soap, which we use to help clean things, and that kind of cuts the molecules, pulls the molecules apart. And that's why we get such a pretty picture on our plate of milk. Okay, have fun this weekend, friends. I will talk to you next week. Bye!